Okay, so we're starting with our piece of paper, right? And so one of the things that um, ends up happening is like sometimes you want to kind of commemorate a day and you want to remember it, right? And this, um, this yesterday was a big day and we watched the video with the, the Poet Laureate. So I'm taking my half a sheet of paper and I'm going to line it up in the middle of my page. And then I'm going to, whoops, trace around my little piece of paper. And a lot of artists will sit there and every day they'll kind of start to do work. And they kind of, it's like a diary for them kind of a thing. And they'll fill sketchbooks and journals with it. So what we're doing at this point is, so I've laid this paper out, right? And I've got my, my half of my sheet in the middle of my paper. And now sometimes I might, I want to put a word in there and I want to think about it. So if we're talking about the words that we were doing before, um, one of the things, one of the highlights from yesterday was we were talking about unity, right? So one of the things too is I want to lay out unity in the middle of this and then I'm going to use that to do a doodle around it kind of a thing because that kind of commemorated my day. And even then I could totally put like my date at the bottom. So I'm going to date this January 21st, 2021. Right. And I, and the, the thing that I'm thinking about and what's on my mind today is unity. So now I'm going to get this is how about how big I'd like my letters to be. OK, so I just put a line right here and a line right here. And I think I can fit it all in there. And the other thing is I'm going to do is I'm going to write unity at the bottom here because I want to make sure that I spell it right. And actually, I just put that up. Top, but okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to actually turn this around because I can't draw over that spiral so I'm gonna lay out my letters very carefully so I've got a Y or a U N I T Y okay and I did it with very light letters and there's even there's kind of a couple of them on there but see I made everything as tall as this top line right here and to this line right here. So I laid out the space that I wanted to put it in so I knew it would fit, right? And then two, I wanted to make sure that I had all of my letters the same size, which is something that a lot of people kind of forget to do. So when you're laying stuff out like that, it makes things slightly easier than just trying to fake it because what ends up happening is always somebody's letters will be really big and then they'll get really small or they just everything kind of lumps out and everything so i laid a baseline and a top line for my letters so that i knew how tall they would be now at this point we're going to go just around and i'm going to very gently outline the outside of my letters and then i'm going to go and i'm going to top them off and i'm going to go to outlining the inside of my letters okay and I can do this upside down so um, what ends up we have a baseline we have a top line I have a general layout of how I want my letters to look and if I just stay just to the right and just to the left of my letters I can get kind of bubble letter looking and everything is laid out so I know it's going to fit in my space. I know it's going to fit in my page. I know that everything is exactly where I'd like it to be. And if I just outline the very light pencil lines that I put down, I can see that what will fit. Now, sometimes it'll be like, oh, you know what? I should maybe move that over to the right a little bit. Or maybe you should move that over to the left a little bit. I don't want my Y to touch my T, so I'm going to have to pay attention to that when I go to do it. So by laying out my letters with pencil lines first, I get everything going on that I wanted to have going on, right? I still think my Y is a little crunched, so if I was being crazy neurotic about this, I might go back and do it. But then after that, I can either just draw over the light pencil lines I put on there, or I can, um, I can go back and erase them. Usually I work with a pencil and then I work with a permanent marker so I can go back later and I can erase without like hurting my my paper or or my words kind of a thing and you, you kind of got to be careful when you're erasing that you don't um smudge your stuff so you want to try and look at it um be, 
do a little tiny spot that you can totally work with. Okay, so that's what we're doing and that's how you work a layout.